Hey guys, today is September 23rd of 2019. I want to go over the Aussie dollar using WCAN price and time technical analysis. Let's get right into it. Uh, as you can see, the Aussie dollar got a nice little pop on the third. Went all the way up to uh, somewhere around 68.95 around there. Kind of sold off. We got a daily sell signal. Uh, inside day today hasn't gone up, hasn't gone down. Gone down. RSI uh, very oversold, uh, broke MOBO, MACD cross. I really like this uh, indicator. It's called the MAC Daddy. It's earlier than the MACD. So as you can see right here, it kicked in on the 16 for a sell signal. So it's kind of giving me way in advance of a possible uh, reversal. So it kicked in on a 16. MOBO came in on the 18. RSI cracked. The 80 PPSL signal on the 18th. So this one's like a head up early warning. If you're long and this thing is just going around here, you could probably get out or lock in profit to raise your stop. Uh, this is the weekly. And this is the monthly. Uh, you can see that on the uh, four hour, uh, it's been uh, positive. Uh, Mobo's positive. Looked like the MACD wants to go up. Uh, crossover. It's already giving you a head start and divergence going up. See the divergence here too. Uh, this is a 5,000 tick five day. For some reason, my mobile doesn't show on the on the on the tick chart, but that's fine. But you can see uh, the choppiness because uh, this eliminates noise and this is just all uh, tick base. So I could just it just kind of takes the time out and just kind of lets me see what's going on. So the uh, uh, moving average in the MOBA has kind of been resistance here and it's just been chopping here and you can see these key levels below the moving average below the moving average uh, so that's what we have here let's look at our numbers so September's forecast statistically September is a swing high month and the US dollar uh, index is uh, uh, normally does a swing low uh, September 2nd 8th and does a swing high on the 5th and the 11th and then it flushes down all the way to the 21st as you can see it hasn't done that this is the uh, this is the uh, four hour it's just been going it's just been going sideways just a lot of a lot of chop um, yeah this is the uh, four hours you can see it's just nah, it's just too tiny but it's just a lot of chop maybe I could just go here and just see uh, let's see Man, it's raining out here. So this is the daily. So let's see. Let's open this up a little bigger. All right, so the third, it made a high. I mean, it's just been chopped, man. This is just pure chop. I don't even want to waste your time uh, on this. It's just going sideways, you know, slightly grinding higher. You can see it's just chopping on the on the daily ranges, and it just likes like it wants to break out here, but just slightly chop. So Aussie uh, uh, on seasonality, it does a swing low on the first, and uh, the Aussie did it on the third. Did a swing low of a sixty-six eighty-six. And uh, it does a swing high, uh, multiple swing highs. So it does it on the 8th, it did it on the 12th, which we got our high on the 12th. And then it does a final swing high on the 21st eh, slash 22nd. Uh, but so far, the Aussie hasn't done that yet. Today's the 23rd, and uh, I should have made a high on the 21st and then flushed down. Forecast models, I'm working on some new uh, models, tweaking some things. So this is blank. And you can see the uh, day uh, of the original data, what days are uh, good for shorts, what get days are good for going long, and what's kind of 50-50. Uh, just looking at, you know, the dates. So seasonality, you can see it's 50-50. Uh, there's two, uh, let's say there's bullish, and there's two that is bearish. So it's kind of 50-50, uh, and that's the uh, clean data. Uh, you can see that on Mondays and Tuesdays, more bearish. Uh, and then that's it. So let's look at the chart. 
This green line right here is the seasonality. It shows that it makes a low on the on the fourth, and it made it early on the third. So this was a nice little scout. Uh, we made a high. Uh, seasonality shows on the uh, eighth, it makes a swing high on the twelfth, and on the twenty-first, which is somewhere around here, you can see the seasonality shows it, uh, and then it flushes down. So we never got that far to go like a pullback and go really high and then kind of top out right here somewhere. I don't know, maybe testing this high here and then pulling back down. So we lost Momo even before we got to the uh, the high that nor it normally does, you know, around September, statistically. Uh, not statistically, seasonality uh, using averages. So now it says that from here, we flush down all the way to the fourth. So we got to keep an eye on October the 4th. Cycle-wise, we went up. Uh, cycle topped out on the 17th. We made a high on the 12th. Right here was a nice little uh, uh, um, bottom uh, feeders, like I say, or, or um, people buying on a discount, and then got annihilated with this bear kicker and flushed them out. The cycle's pointing down all the way to the 30th but you see that sometimes the 17th it came in early so it could come in early or it could come in later uh, but the cycles are pointing down seasonality is pointing down uh, what possible targets we have well if we do some fibonacci level you can see that we failed at the 50 68.83 uh, we're right here trying to hold uh, from an extension fib extension is that 61.8 67 66 right here we fail that Obviously, we're going to test this uh, swing low, 66.86, and if we fail that, and it's going to line up with the cycle going down and seasonality, possible target could be that 65.59 around here. Uh, linear regression channel is support right here right now. That's why it's kind of stalling a little bit and maybe want to go higher. Uh ellipse showing that there's a support here uh, date you want to also watch is October the 2nd October the 4th and uh, mm, September 30th and if we're gonna go higher this is for the bulls if you think that this is support and we're gonna go higher and maybe we're gonna invert this uh, sell-off or seasonality swing low and cycle low and maybe go higher then uh, this is going to be your target anywhere between 69.18 all the way to 69.33. Dates you want to watch is the 26th. I doubt it'll pop that huge, but you never know. Uh, but October the 2nd is dates you want to watch. This is for the bulls. Can you hear the rain? It's coming down. Uh, let's take that out and let's. This is uh, again angles I've been working on and. Testing this square uh, of 22 and 23 and see how it works. As you can see, we got a, a sell off right here. Uh, this is where we're at. So I'm interested to see how price action behave within, you know, uh, smaller swings. And I like the bigger swings. Uh, let's look at the indicators. Let's see what we got here. Oscillators uh, obviously pointing down. RSI is negative. Stokes are negative. MACD just turned negative. Elliott trigger, interesting. Uh, this indicator shows when we have a wave four, it crosses over. So let's put our Elliott wave count. You can see we got one, two, three, four. And if it's gonna follow the cycle and the seasonality, we're working on wave five to a target of somewhere between 65, 58. CCI is uh, kind of getting some Momo. I mean, not Momo. Uh, divergence or maybe uh, uh, changing here uh, and that's it uh, time clusters let's see for time clusters the 25th 26th dates you want to watch this one's very strong October the 2nd which lines up with the uh, target points I have um, October 2nd again so this is a strong October 2nd and the uh, 25th uh, let's see Mm, I think that's it. Those are the only ones. Uh, in the 26. I think that's it for this uh, video. Well, that's all I wanted to show you. So keep an eye on the Aussie. If we find support and we take out this high, 68, 
1909, then chances are everything has inverted and it's going up the opposite of the seasonality and the cycle. But if it pushes lower, it'll be nice because it's going to line up with everything. And it is going to line up with the Elliott wave. It's going to line up with the seasonality going down. And uh, there's a lot of chatter that October is a big month. Uh, some big events are going to happen, uh, supposedly, in regards to the uh, market, the indices, currencies. Who knows? And who knows what could happen? But that's the chatter out there. So we'll see. Uh, October normally is an interesting month. Uh, so we got to be on guard and watch. Hopefully you like this video, hit the like button, and I'll keep you posted on my thoughts on the Aussie dollar.